Back pain is a huge issue for many people. But did you know the majority of back pain actually comes from the neck? Dr. Ray Drury from Upper Cervical Health Centers joins us now with more. Dr. Drury, it's great to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good to see you again. All right. It sounds weird to say that if your back hurts, it could be a problem with your neck. Yeah, well, it's kind of like step on a dog's tail. He barks at the other end, right? Well, not quite. But <laughs> what happens is, you know, most people understand that this is a, a model. So here's the head. These are the top two bones. It makes sense that if one of the bones in the upper neck misaligned, it could result in neck pain, headaches, even affecting the nerves going down the arms, right? Mm -hmm. But what most people don't realize is the brain actually is designed to be level at all times. It has its own reflex. It's called the riding reflex. The whole purpose of that reflex is to make sure that the head always stays balanced. So if one of these bones get a little out of position, what that does is it actually changes the position of the head. Now that reflex kicks in, the brain doesn't like being off balance, so what will happen is it will send messages down to the body, telling the body to compensate or change by oh. twisting, turning, bending, rotating, whatever it has to do to get that head level again. So as a result, now you have compensatory changes in the neck, upper back, even into the low back, knees and feet. Now gravity pushes down, just going through normal motions can result in back pain, leg pain, knee pain, foot pain, etc.